directive? Who ordered this? You did. Can you talk? First things first, Arknights and Field, I think has been a thing since this reveal in late 2021, one of the most anticipated games on the horizon, on mobiles specifically, which then actually went off the radar and almost gone, to finally come around a few days ago with the word that it's now a PC exclusive and this is how it looks on new hardware. Developers said the game will be coming over for a global beta in about a week from now, in case you missed it, this is a real-time strategy or action RPG. Thing. I planted it? We can only press onward and ever onward until we reach the northernmost point of this planet. A place that may very well be the end of our journey. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. So you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth just topped Famitsu's upcoming games chart. It's right now the most anticipated game in Japan, as it was previously the biggest PlayStation 5 exclusive almost ever. The second entry in its trilogy going by the Rebirth. The new game is going to be following up on the ending of the Final Fantasy VII remake the original, and taking place in an alternative timeline. Square Enix just revealed a new trailer for it, said the game is gone gold and coming to PCs and PlayStation 5 on February 29 next year. On me. Excuse me, could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. A weapon? Tutelary creatures, said only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Who dares disturb my slumber? It's upon us, the reunion. When worlds merge, I'm waiting, Cloud. By NetEase, once again at number 3, we have another open world RPG, rather Marvel's Spider-Man looking inspired kind of hero based action adventure called Project Mugen. Project Mugen was a working title, it's supposedly coming to PCs in the PlayStation consoles and mobiles simultaneously with crossplay support next year. It's been given a huge budget, the game has a campaign, story mod, mostly multiplayer, and this is how it looks. You and I will be
，但你为什么要寻找奇迹？天仙 TV Studios released a new amazing gameplay trailer for once again Honor of Kings World earlier today. Probably know this already. It's the PUBG developers' co-work translated to an open-world action RPG in the same universe of the mobile game Honor of Kings. Supposedly, the game will support co-op multiplayer like Genshin Impact per se, and a separate single player with a totally different function. The game is coming to PCs and the next generation of consoles sometime next year.这里残留着极其强大的魔道能量，好像就是东方耀在调查的那个。他也被侵蚀了吗？全哥学长，也许这才是他追求的极致美学。生命绽放于战场，璀璨就在你眼前。容我为你展示极致的机关之美。让我们开始游戏吧。realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. At Gamescom's opening night live early in the year, uh, Side Games announced a release date of February 1st, 2024 for PCs, PlayStation 4 and 5 on Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. One of the oldest action RPG games that these developers have been making, I believe, six, if not seven years. And that's quite a bit in the same style of also the Final Fantasy XVI's open world. It's a JRPG PlayStation exclusive coming to PCs as well and PlayStation 4 on the same day. But fate set in motion can't be stopped. Deliver us from grief and sacrifice. Fulfill my salvation. The Hobbit! We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. But you've always been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. Metaphor Refantasio is officially coming to PCs now in addition to the next generation of consoles and also the PlayStation 4. This announcement was made recently through a new trailer and a release window of 2024. If you are new to Metaphor, the game, it's a fantasy RPG that's being directed by the same team who did almost all Persona games, 3, 4, 5, and this is the sequel to a very well received game from almost a decade ago. This is how it looks. Shinobu 
これこそ人間の真実だ道は二つに一つまたあったねやはり君は興味深い今こそあんた自身がそうなる前に正義かどうかじゃない誰もが恐れと不安に負けそうで理想を貫け何が正しいのかわからない全ての始まりはあなたの持つ小説幻想はただの絵空事なんかじゃない Draws time with her left hand and twists life in her right. Amidst the helix of destiny, she spun. What visions hast thou seen? Number seven, we have、uh, almost freshly announced、uh, sitting on TapTap -tap and its official website through pre registrations, a co developed mobile adventure RPG from the same team that's bringing Black Myth, Wukong, Punishing Grey Raven, and Withering Waves, a game over here called Do It Night Abyss. It is described by these developers as a high freedom fantasy adventure RPG with a focus on fast paced actions. A lot. The game is coming to PCs sometime next year. Number eight, from the same team who brought、uh, Dragon Ball games,、uh, you'll catch the resemblance in a second if you haven't already. We have ever since August this year a new game, an open world adventure、uh, going by the name Sand Land. It's an action adventure inspired by the company's previous works with now cel shaded graphics, as in a huge desert in a post apocalyptic time era, say. Here's the trailer. The game is coming to PCs and consoles to early 2024. <laughs> それにしてもさすが悪魔だな信じられん強さだあんたは王子の真の怖さを分かっとらん悪魔は本当の悪魔は私の方じゃないか<笑>面白くなってきたじゃん It's the only untainted light. Anomalous visions, distorted nightmares. As long as I can remember,、uh, Wuthering Waves has been amongst the most anticipated PCs and mobile cross platform support games. It's an action RPG that was released almost two years ago, and ever since the beginning of 2022, was teased about 20 times with gameplay and story trailers. If you have been also like us waiting on an update, we just got word that the game is no longer coming out in 2023, just a vague 2024 for PCs. Mobile's initially then into PCs, and we got a trailer for it too. This is actually PC gameplay、uh, from G4. For sufficient. Blizzard breaks out in an instant. It all ends here.
My shackles are no more. May our world be clean as snow. Ever so pure. On its way to every platform, PC Switch, both generation of consoles, no longer coming out in 2023, but in April 23rd, 2024. This is the most anticipated pixel art style turn-based tactics, uh, almost open world RPG in the making. Uh, the one and only we have Yuden Chronicles 100 Heroes, which if you miss out on the update, we did actually get a new trailer for it and reconfirmation that the game has met all of its Kickstarter campaign goals. That was many goals, in case you didn't know, and this is how it looks. それでも僕は正しく帝国を脅かす諸国連合の一角だ。小国と言えど、見過ごすことはできない。このまま降参する。それも悪くないとだとは思いますよ。抑えろ、メリサ。命を懸けの大金。That's it. Even Atlas came up with another trailer on Persona 3, uh, Reload. Another one of the anticipated turn-based JRPGs that's said to be releasing on February 2nd now for PCs and also both generation of consoles, maybe even Switch. Here's a trailer we know it'll feature the same characters as Persona 3 did, including the director's cut version of the game, a new playable epilogue, better visuals and also then the new voiceovers. Absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? One Punch Man World is, in case you missed out on the word, currently in a beta and out on mobiles for testing. The PC beta though has undergone some work, and we've mentioned the game before, it's a free-to-play action-oriented RPG, a Souls-like, letting you embark on a new journey to and relive just the story of the dude himself, the bald guy. Here's a trailer, One Punch Man World is said to be coming out to PCs and consoles later on in the year, and this is how it looks. なんだって。ああ、街を再現するだけじゃなく、過去の事件まで捜査できる。いわば現実の生き物し。お手並み拝見ってわけだな。今回は実際に過去にあった宝石強盗事件を捜査するんだ。まずはデカスキャナーを使
Level 5 went on and released a new trailer, most gameplay, and said Deca Police is now coming to PlayStation 4 and 5 and Switch within 2024, no longer in 2023. These developers, in case you are just unfamiliar with, are the ones who made the Nino Kuni games, they're really good at this type of stuff. They described the new game as a crime suspense RPG and a fast paced adventure in which players take on the role of detectives in a virtual world. It's a pretty unique concept, it's how it looks. <laughs> ちょっとハーバード。相手が逆上しちゃったよ。低俗な犯罪者め。あんまり刺激しない方が。人質を取ったからって逃げられると思うな。焦ってるのか。好きだらけだ。面白くなってきたな。これくらいで驚くのか驚くでしょう。刑事失格だな。とにかく悪党は世界から全員排除する。これは犯罪者の悪意学言化した暗いのビーストっていうらしい。何でもいい。始末するまでだ。始末じゃ
in battling the oppressive legionnaires will hinge on your mastery of the techniques available to you on the battlefield. Be on the lookout for interactive elements on each stage that your team can take advantage of. Number 17, we have Persona 5 Tactica. This is a tactical role-playing game or an entry in a series which happens to be coming to all consoles, Switch included, November 17 this year. Yeah, I don't think there is a lot of differences with this game. It's just that it's a strategy RPG, but with just more diversified options in combat, adding chain combos, different strategies with the same old series' characters. Check it out in case you missed it. The Guard of Geisha can block any type of attack from the front. And don't get too confused by the clone Slimy Shinobi makes of itself. Sometimes the best action is to simply observe your surroundings. If a character takes no action during battle, they'll begin their next turn with a charge. Each character has their own unique charge action, so be sure to try out different ones for the right situation in combat. You'll have to wait and see what happens. And if you want to get the most out of your team in combat, head over to the Velvet Room where you can fuse personas to create new ones, as well as craft new powerful weapons. A multi-layered RPG weapon. full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are About a month ago, a new Saga game was also announced in the latest Nintendo Direct, in case you missed it, going by the name Saga Emerald Beyond. This is actually the work of Square Enix, will be coming out early 2024, that's all we know in case of a release date, a promising a multi-layered, rather rich story of six different heroes with vastly different backgrounds and abilities. Check it out in case you missed it. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths, more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques to control the order of actions, or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor.